Thursday, night before PD. I came here to get see-through Velcro because I'm positive I bought it here before and of course we don't have it. But what did I find? 50% off Halloween things that I've been avoiding all week long. Like candy, a cute Mickey Mouse outfit, I just can't say no. Instead of just getting one thing for school, I'm leaving with a pile of things for myself. But that's how I've collected so many holiday items, I guess you could say, is because I never buy it full price. Like I've got a Mickey sweater and Mickey pants for $8 each. Okay, friends, so I'm doing a little sanding job of the little spots where we were uh, caulking. I think that's what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this and then I need to prime and then I need to edit a YouTube video and then I'll see you guys tomorrow for Teacher Professional Development Day. And yeah, that's a hole in the wall. We have to fix that. We don't really know what we're doing yet to fix it. So if you have suggestions, go ahead and leave that down below too. Hi friends, happy Friday, y'all. I'm opening up my Barbella box for the month of, this would be October's box. I've had it for probably almost a week and I haven't bothered to open it. I know what the apparel item is and I'm gonna wear it today. Um, basically, I only order it if I know I'm gonna like the apparel item because the apparel item is like the big item and then everything else, they don't really advertise. It's just kind of a surprise. So like next month, I know the leggings are like a maroon color that I already have plenty of, so I skip next month's box. I think it's $55 a month that I pay all by myself, not sponsored, none of that stuff. So here we are by the box and then we'll head off to school. Oh, I was hoping to get the green. So the item this month is like a jogger and I wanted the olive green, but I got this blackish navyish color which i guess is more versatile than olive green anyways but anyways nice little pair of pants perfect for uh teacher work day today then we also got some uh strips this one is dreamy lavender flavored some shoelaces and it's got these little things that you never have to tie your shoes ever again you know i'm taking these to school and putting them on a kid's shoes you know that's happening face rounds so like the stuff you put on your toner and your makeup remover they're reusable that's kind of fun a moisturizing cream. I always have dry hands, so that's perfect. Love a nice moisturizer. And a candle. $55 a month. These pants themselves are like 80. So that's basically why I get the box, depending on if I like the apparel item or not. Let's get changed and head off to Caribou because I also want a coffee. So I decided to go a little out of my comfort zone and I'm trying the holiday menu. Caribou cups are so much cuter than the Starbucks ones, but I don't know if I'll be able to show you because I got an ice beverage and the person I owe a coffee is also doing an ice beverage and it's the hot cups that are like adorable. So I got the Ho Ho Mint Mocha and then I also got their um, cranberry muffin to try, which we'll see if I like that or not because I don't really like cranberry all that much, but I mean, I'm a festive girl. Let's try it out. Okay, it's three o'clock. I'm almost ready to head home. We have updates running on our smart boards and our computers that are docked into here. So it looks like it's a desktop, but actually it's just a blank old monitor that doesn't work until the laptop is plugged in. And I honestly never do it. I just use my smart board or I'll bring the computer over here and sit. I never just sit there with it docked unless it has to actually be docked or the battery is dead and I can't find my charger because it charges when it's docked. Anyways, so things that I worked on today, organizing my mess of a desk, my mess of a classroom. Had my para working on some things that have been sitting around here. Like this is old Christmas stuff from last year that I just had her color. I'm gonna put it on file folders. Um, this is Veterans Day. She's gonna color me a nice little example so I can keep it forever. The unique learning system is ready to go for November. Kind of, like here's the word wall. We've got our news to you is ready to go for the next week. It's um, Native American Heritage Month and we're talking about robots. Basically sponges cut into shapes that they're gonna use to make a robot. Cute, it's paint. 
there's a young inventor that we're focusing on as well as growing seeds on the windows which we've done before in science but we'll do it again and then we're gonna make a little robot and then we're making corn and bean dip and then this is from the last month ULS and we haven't gotten to it yet but I'm planning on it and here's the November ULS that I just need to put up so we're gonna do that this is the November writing journal but we're not yet done with Halloween yet and then this is a Veterans Day matching activity And then I also was preparing what everything else we're doing for Veterans Day. Um, we always have school on Veterans Day, so I figured I would just keep going and creating things. Um, so we've got a little book. This is a little um, infograph that my para just colored. This is a little craft we've done in the past. We're going to do it again. This is what the students are going to do. The November bin out. I'm hiding the candy in here for now. We have candy on Thursdays when we progress monitor. And then I'm going to do a patriotic sensory bin. And I changed the books, but we still have one week until Veterans Day. So we're going to do one week of like fall things. And then Sensory Bin is still kind of a spooky themed one because I have lots of fun spooky things. And for anyone who cares, I'm wearing um, United Monograms shirt that says Deech. Here's those juggers. And we've got nice pockets and Uggs. Woo. Happy Friday. Okay. Let's put this up. First, we take this down. And then here's our board. So we'll be doing an experiment with different seeds inside of a peach, an orange, a pumpkin, and a cherry, and an apple. If I can find pumpkins. I think I'll still be able to find pumpkins in the middle of November. And we're making like a corn out of a cardboard tube and bubble wrap. That'll be cute. My students are like, what is this thing? Like, it's just a water bottle made out of skin. Um, the letter of the day is in this binder, and I will get that out on Monday. Here's our vocabulary. The rhyming, I don't know what happened to it. I'm going to have to reprint it and make it. So it should be where it's like frog and dog and log and bog, the OG. And then this one's ICK, pick, lick, stick. And then our related content is a little critter, and I don't have the book. So I'll either get it really cheap or I'll just do a YouTube reload, which is what we often do, unless it's a cheap book. So yes, here we are, ready for November. I do have a video planned. Someone um, asked me in a YouTube comment a couple of questions on ULS, and I'll be sure to address that in a new video. But right now, I need to go home, change clothes, and get ready to go to Walmart, because unfortunately, I can't wear joggers to Walmart, which is sad. <sighs> Let's go. It's 50 degrees. What a nice day. I literally never match. So these are just a pair of jeans that have a really fun waistband. I got them from Walmart a um, year or two ago. And they're like stretchy on the bottom too. I like that sound. And there's my laundry pile that I need to do tomorrow. You might be wondering, Monica, why is your laundry on the floor and not in the laundry basket? Well, here we have jeans, jeans, shorts. And that's apparently the only three laundry baskets we own is in my room. Um, but, you know, we're working on this room tomorrow. That is the goal. And then if we come in this room, I'm assuming this is dry. Yeah, I just need to actually paint this tonight when I'm done with work at 10 o'clock. Yay me. Um, and then tomorrow will be closet time. Yay! I picked up some Halloween cereal that was 50% off, so I'm gonna eat this and go paint the closet. Everyone paints closets at 11 o'clock at night, right? Painting is done. I'm going to bed and I will start a new vlog tomorrow. It's gonna be a busy, busy Saturday. I'm really hoping everything works out and we can get those shelves put up and I can get my little athletic room just how I want it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.